Hello. In this video, we will be configuring the uh, grippers on Kukaruba using the work for Jewel. We're going to be assigning inputs and outputs to the gripper and, uh, and the command. So this video will be continue, continuing what we started in the previous video when we added a profinet uh, module to Kukaruba. So in that video, we added a Balov profinet module IO to the KUKA and we uh, and we added it so we can connect the physical inputs and outputs, the proxies, the solenoid valve to connect them to that uh, IO module. So after we connect those grippers, physical inputs and physical outputs to the module and we assigned the inputs and outputs from the module to the KUKA robot using the work virtual that was in the previous video. So now here, this is the pile of the, that. This is the module that we configured, and this is the input and output that we assigned to it. So, in this module, we assign these inputs from 70, 71, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 to the, the physical inputs in the module. And the outputs, we assign these two outputs number in KUKA uh, RUBA to the physical uh, outputs in the module so i'm going to be using those inputs and outputs to uh, configure two grippers so we have gripper one and gripper two and in gripper one uh, for open it's going to be input 70 it's a feedback to tell me it's open and for close when the gripper close input 71 it's going to tell me the gripper close and to, to open or close the this gripper I'm going to send the command to output 70. Uh, and also in the gripper 2, in my program, I will be using input 75 and input 76 for open and close for the gripper 2. And I'm going to be using output 72 to uh, uh, open or close the gripper 2 in my program. This is shows uh, the robots when uh, this is going to be showing you the gripper number, which gripper you're controlling. And this is to open it, this is to close it. And I will show how you can control or change these icons too. So, in this program here, uh, in, in the option, open the gripper. Here, first under configuration, you select which gripper you want to configure. You can configure up to 16 uh, grippers in uh, Ruba. Number one, you so you select the name for it. So I'm gonna say Gripper one, and you select if it's active or not. If you're using it, it's, it has to be active. Uh, if, for example, two you have two robots, one one of them has different. Everything is the same, but one of them missing one Gripper. You deactivate this uh, Gripper, but here you activate it to be able to use it. Number of states. So this gripper is going to open or close. So that means two states. If you have some grippers that where it has a uh, third position, then you have three states. But in our case, it only open all the way or close all the way. So two states. Number of, of outputs. We cannot control this gripper by one output. We turn this output on, for example, it's going to open it or close it. And if and we turn it off, it's going to change the status. So, so it's one output that I'm using to control this gripper. Number of inputs. Uh, I have two inputs, one for open, one for close. If, for example, we have more inputs, so uh, I have some uh, scenarios where I'm picking up a part. Uh, so here you go. Uh, when the gripper is open, one status. When it pick up the part and it's raw before it's machined, so the gripper, um, it closed on the part, in a different position when it closed on the same part after the part was machined. The machining eats a little bit from the material, so the gripper closed even farther when it's machined. So I had three sensors to tell me if the gripper open, the gripper closed on a raw machine, a raw part, and if the gripper closed on a machined part, uh, raw part. So here where you select how many inputs you have in this gripper. In our case, we have two either open or close. Here's the icon. You can 
select anyone you want. Anyone here you want, you select it to be your icon for Gripper 1. Time for sta for uh, status. Uh, here, 3 seconds. If it timeout, if it doesn't happen, it timeout after 3 seconds. Pulse duration. If you're using pulse uh, to open and close your Gripper, this is your uh, time to uh, duration for your pulse. But in my case, I'm not going to use pulse. But here, I'm going to... Uh, go to next one just to show you the pulse here where you select if you want a pulse or default uh, I'm not so I'm not using pulsing I'm gonna be sending a uh, signal all the time when I want it to be let's say close I'm gonna keep that signal on and when I want it open I just take that signal off uh, I'm not gonna be pulsing going back here okay so that's gripper one now we continue to uh, status and IOS so in a gripper one, we said, um, this is the icon. I want it when, when it tells me it's open. When it's open, I wanted this icon. If I wanna, if this is open for you, you can use this open. But for me, like I like the other one. I want it to show me uh, this icon when the gripper is open. Uh, and to show me this when it's a close. And you put a uh, description what what is this uh, status if you want if this is for example if you have three status this is open uh, or this is a closed raw bar and the third one will be closed uh, machining you can put descriptions here here uh, let me just explain what's the difference between default and uh, critical uh, in the, you use default is just you press the button it open it you press the button it close it uh, but for critical, if you choose critical, what's going to happen is you're going to have to press the button twice. And I think between them half a second or less than a second, uh, between the between the, the two times you push the button for it, for the command to happen. And that, for example, if you have, if you're controlling um, other, not just, not just a robot, you can, by the cook up in there, you can control uh, CNC machine uh, with these uh, grippers you can open and close a gripper inside the CNC machine it's not just a uh, gripper on the rule by itself uh, you can control anything uh, with the bin with the bend it in the in your automation cell so in some c conditions that it's a critical situation where you want to make sure you want to open it it's like double uh, proof that uh, are you sure you want to open it like you have to push it press the button open button or close button twice to happen that's a critical a critical force you to push the button twice before the command happen but in our case it's going to be simple just open and close in one time uh, so that's a status in outputs now you, you, you put here what's the output number uh, for gripper one the our output number is 70 this one it show you here 70 for gripper 1 and 72 for gripper 2 and the input are 70 71 so here we want it default not boss and if i need description i can put description and then uh that for inputs i have like we say 2 which is what 70 for uh, open and 71 for close okay the sim I don't need that but uh, simulation you use simulation uh, if you don't have physical input really and you want to run the program to test for example but you don't you didn't uh, connect your physical inputs so you can simulation here you can simulate the inputs or even the outputs you can simulate them so your program keep going because if you don't uh, if you don't select simulation here if you have it uh, deselected and you run your program when it, when it comes to open the gripper it's going to open the gripper and then the robot will stop waiting on the feedback tells it that the gripper is open but uh, if you have it simulation here, it's not going to stop. It's going to open the gripper and keep going even though the feedback didn't come. That's what simulation here. Okay, now we have these numbers correct. 
Now we go to mapping. Okay, here, uh, mapping output. When it, when, uh, when do you want to uh, send the signal uh, number output number 70? When do you want it to be on? When do you want it to be off? Does it on when it's open or want it to be off when it's open? So if you have, if you want to send 24 volt or whatever voltage your solenoid valve, if you want to uh, send uh, 24 volt, let's say, uh, to the valve to open, so when you put true, and you, when you turn it to zero, when you start, when you turn off this 24, you turn it off. So it depends how you want to uh, con control the air to your gripper. You want to control, you want it to open when you send it 24, or you want to close when you send it 24, you select here, true or false. So in my case, if I leave it like this, that means when I send 24 volt to the valve, I want it to open. And when I turn zero volt, I want it to close. That's what I'm doing. Uh, the mapping inputs, number 70. When you want it to be open when the voltage, when it receives voltage, when the input has 24 volt on it. Do you want it to be open or you want it to be closed? That's how also you configure it here. If uh, uh, if I want uh, 20, number 70, uh, I, I want to say number 70 is for open, right? So uh, right here, we say number 70 for open. So I should see 24 volt on 70 when it's open. So I change that to true. I need, when I see 24 volt on 70, that's mean it's open. And I should see zero volt on 71. But when it's closed, I should see zero volt on 70 and I should see 24 volt on 71. That, in this, this scenario, it shows you like 70 for open stata, status and 71 for closed status. Okay, conditions for manual operation. You might see this in different versions, precondition for manual operation, and that will make more sense. Um, so here, if there is a specific input that has to, uh, uh, be, like before you turn off, uh, you, before you turn on and, uh, uh, sorry, before you open or close your gripper one, we are con con uh, controlling gripper one, before you open it and then close it, if you want a precondition for this, like a, a interlock for this uh, signal to happen, then you put, for example, an input, or you put state, or you, and you, or you put function. So before I be able, for, just to make sure everything's safe, before I allow the maintenance guy or the tech guy to be able to open the gripper, this input, for example, any any input you have, any uh, input that you uh, configure for that safety. For example, safety door has to be closed. So the input from the safety door, you put it here on an input area, and that you say it has to be that it has to be on for before the operator or whoever controlling the robot be able to open the gripper. And if you put it here too. That we say the also that same input 50 door or safety, whatever it is, has to be on before the operator be able to close the gripper. In our case, we're not there is no precondition, the operator can open and close the gripper in manual anytime. So that's what that means, though. Okay, uh, I'm gonna uh talk about parameter and data after I finish gripper two. So now we finish gripper one. That conclude gripper one. Now we need gripper two. We go to gripper two. We start from the beginning, the same thing. We're gonna call it gripper two. And it is active. Number of, uh, of states, uh, two. Number of outputs, one. Number of inputs, the same like other one, two. And gripper icon, yeah, I want to show two. And uh, timeout uh, for status, I mean, you can change that if you want, but three seconds is good. Pulse duration, the default, these default numbers, and that, that that's good. All right, status, uh, states, and IO. So I'll open for that, close for that. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to change it. Uh, now, the output is 41, actually, yeah. 
the odd, no, uh, 71, 71. And uh, the input, we say it's 75 and 76. There you go. And this is for open. This is for close. Good, mapping. So uh, I turn it on, it open the gripper. And I turn it off, it closes the gripper. And here, 75 is for open, so this needs to be true, and this needs to be closed. So when 75 is on, that means it's open. When and, and when 76 is on, that means it's closed. No precondition. All right, now we finish gripper 1 and gripper 2. So now we jump on parameter. Here, input for uh, ghost mode on. If you want to do a ghost mode, then you uh, that you select also an input here. And you activate it also. Uh, error output. If you want, anytime you get a gripper faults or gripper errors, you want an output to turn on to let you know. For example, send it to the your BLC that controlling the cell to put it in the HMI. Here, where you put your output number that you want the error to turn on. Strategy. When you have an error, what do you want to have into the robot cell? Do you want it just to send you dialog in T1, T2, T1, T2, auto, T1, T2, auto, external, or you want to stop? Usually I, I choose stop. If the gripper, if there's a problem with the grippers, stop because I don't want any crashes. So I stop it. Or you use your strategy. Uh, yeah, let me stop it. I want my robot stops. In the, they give you three strategies because you maybe some grippers are different uh, so you can select strategy one for gripper one strategy two for gripper two and that is this data and icons you can save load organize a gripper uh, it's the same thing if you have available grippers you can move them back and forth forward now organize icons if you have an icons you, if you don't like the icons that kuga has for you you can uh, load it here and bring it to your icons and that will include uh, all the configuration now you download it and after you download it you will see in the bin it where you can go and control your uh, gripper you select this button to go between one and two and only it's going to have for you one and two because that's the only one we activated and then you press that to open you press this to close and you will see the input and outputs feedback coming to you Thank you very much.